What's up everybody? Welcome to this week's vlog. We are here at my van. So we're going to have a bit of spare time coming up quite soon because of everything that's going on in the world. I'm not getting into it. But look, we have this van here. It's been doing me for the last year and a bit. And it started out as just this normal little work van, okay? And we'll stick a picture of it up here. It was quite shabby on the inside and we decided to do a bit of a restoration on the whole interior of the van. Now we've stripped out all the, uh, the old plywood, we stuck in new plywood, we carpeted everything. We went the dog the whole way out on doing it into a work van. Now, I'm not doing landscaping anymore at all, so what I wanted to do is change it into more of a, a day camping trip van so we can go off on hikes, we can go to mountains, we can go on trips wherever we want to go, and we can sleep in the van whenever we want. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole van apart, even though we've just done it up less than a year ago, and we're going to take out the bulkhead first and foremost, then we're going to take out the panels and we're going to insulate them because I went down to B&Q earlier and man the queue was massive trying to get in there. But we ended up getting some eco roll to insulate the inside of the van and we got some barrier silver kind of material to help kind of deaden the sound as well, as well as uh, insulating the van at the same time. Now a company, a good friend of mine Gary Dunnan and Alec White they own and run a company called Vanguard. Uh, I'll put a link for it down below. It's www.vanguard.ie, I think. Uh, I'm almost certain of it. But they did the whole van up with a kind of a shelving units the whole way along on the right hand side of the van. Like I said, I'm sick of that now. So we're going to rip that out and the lads are going to put in a new shelving system, but with this kind of a sliding bed. So they're going to have these sl slots that interlock to each other and slide out to make it that much bigger. So that's going to be interesting to see what they can do from their side of things. Oh, and also I went on to Google, of course, because Google knows absolutely everything. And they decided to show me where I can get a window conversion. So a window conversion is when we're going to take out a panel on the side of the van and we're going to put a window in there because it is quite dark. Uh, so removing the bulkhead leaves in that much more light, but if we remove one of the panels and put in a window also, then you're going to even get more light. So we're going to get a window from uh, cozycampers.ie and the window they're going to supply us with is a 70% uh, tint on it so far. So and all you have to do is, all you have to do, <laughs> if I go as well, so we cut out the panel, fingers crossed we don't destroy the whole van, and then put in the window and they give you this fitting kit as well so i think overall i think it comes into geez, just over 100 euros and i have put a few euro away for uh, uh, quite a few weeks now to kind of pay for this and uh, i've had it on my mind and on my heart for quite a bit okay so now this is the uh reflective insulation and vapor barrier okay this is the more expensive stuff this was ended up being 36 euros and you get uh 1.25 meters by 8 meters so there's quite a bit of it there, yeah, I understand that, but uh, it's far more expensive than the, the fluffy stuff. The stuff that you nearly put in your attic, it's called Eco Roll. And with this now, we actually get a nice bit of uh, stuff in it. So this is your base layer for high energy savings, as it says on the box or in the bag. So this is the stuff that's going to keep us really warm. I think, I could be totally freaking wrong, but look, this is the stuff that I want to put in the van to kind of give us that extra bit of heat and that extra bit of warmth because it can be cold at night, especially during the, the early months of the year. So I'm talking about March, April, May, those months can be kind of cold, but June, July, it does start to get that bit more warmer. So yeah, so we have LED panels on the, on the ceiling already, so we don't need to touch that side of things at all in any way, shape or form. I really like those, uh, those details that we have, but we might take the roof down and put a bit of insulation on the roof also. Uh, it gives like, yeah, heat rises, so we want to keep the heat in it at night. But we do have a ventilator and system also just up here. And uh, what that does is it leaves out all the condensation if there is any. I am a scuba diver during the day. So if we do have uh, wet scuba gear and that it's going to be sometimes left in here for a few hours, at least it's not going to get into the wood and destroy it and dampen it. So yeah, we're kind of safe from that side of things. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start taking off some panels. We're going to see what we're going to do. And uh, we'll start kind of insulating this place out and happy days. <laughs> Okay, so we've taken out one of the side panels and the uh, box of, of some sort that would be normally here. Uh, and uh, this is the panel that we took out. 
to for over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of this silver stuff down here, just over here, and we're going to put one kind of sheet here, one sheet there, one sheet there, and then we're going to put some of that stuff then in on top of that, and maybe another sheet then to hold it all in place. Um, whether that's going to be effective or not, really no idea. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway. We'll keep plugging away, and what I want to get to. I want to get this done now tonight. So there we have it. We have three metal, not metal, but barrier panels up. So next port of call is to try and get some in around here, around just in behind the wheel arch. All right, so I'm going to put a stop to it for the rest of the night. Uh, I've panelled as much as I can with the silver barrier, as you can see just over here. So I have the one, two, three panels of the underneath panel and then I have the wheel arch done. So it's looking quite, well, a lot better than I originally was. So I have a look at it there. So that will help with the sound deadening and uh, maybe a bit of insulation also. So really looking forward to getting the foam, uh, the eco roll in on there now. So that's going to really make it toasty is what I'm led to believe. So yeah, looking forward to finishing this project. So we're only tipping the start of it, but look, it's going to be fun. It's going to be, I'm going to bring you the whole way along and see what we get up to. Now it's not going to be a full massive van conversion. It's just something for me to get by and being able to utilize it still as a work van to a certain degree. So, all right, so check back in tomorrow. Okay, welcome to day two of the van rebuild. Uh, Alicia's giving me a hand today. She's probably going to hide. Isn't that a lovely haircut she has? It's amazing. She's such a great hairstylist. Anyway, so we've moved on to the next stage of it. So myself and Alicia have been working hard this morning and we've filled up all the panels with eco roll, as you can see from this panel over here and to here. And there's a small little hole here and here that we just, it was very hollow in behind it. So what we've done with, we've actually stuffed eco roll the whole way in around it as well. So we're doing quite a good job. And then we're gonna come in here now into the van as well. We'll flip you around. One, two, three. And there's another two gaps here. One here, one here, and another one just in here. So we're gonna fill them up also. So let's crack on. Let's kind of get this panel back on and uh, at least you can start filling up those holes and then we'll start working on this shelf. We're gonna take out all the screws and I'll get my dad over then uh, later and the two of us can take out that. And then we can start taking off this panel. That's the big one that's gonna take most of work and uh, yeah. We'll keep going from there. Let's keep you updated in a small way. All right, so we're finished up for today. We've got this panel done with the eco roll in behind it. It's nice and fluffy and warm and toasty. But not only did we put it in here, we put it in the wheel arch also just underneath there and it was a bit of a job to get that back in we've had to kind of force it in so alicia stuck her feet up against it while i drilled it in also this panel is done as well with the eco roll so happy days that is finished also this panel is coming out but it won't be being done till next week there is a window going in there and also we've put, decided to put in one q rail here and another one here simply because we can put our scuba tanks up against it and we can ratchet in here and here so it's nice and safe as we're traveling to our destination for our scuba dive adventures uh alicia did you have fun yeah as you can see from, <laughs> i hear from the excitement of her voice she had a great productive day work with daddy so we're on to the next stage of the camper conversion uh so what we've done we've actually taken out two of the back panels at the top part of the van so we've taken out this panel here which was in here so we've taken that out and we've put in a silver layer of that uh, bubble wrap insulation. And we've also put it in over here also. So it's going to give that bit of extra insulation. Now, I was half tempted to put in another layer of it, but what I've elected to do instead is just maybe tear half of this insulation off and then put a very thin layer just to give it that extra bit of warmth. Now we were supposed to concentrate on this side of the van, the shelving unit, we're going to take that out, but we're not going to do that for now because my father isn't available till later on. So we will concentrate on the back part of the van for now. So like I said, we're going to concentrate in here and here and we'll work our way down. Then we'll remove this panel and we'll remove this panel and then we're going to do the same, put that insulation and really get the warmth into the van. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack on and get some work done, yeah? Lola. Lola. 
Okay, buddy. Where? Oh, up, tree! <laughs> so I forgot to say that we've actually ended up getting a reversing camera simply because it's terrified of reversing the cars and, and car parks and stuff like that and it's handy for if I ever need to use the trailer as well and what I've done is I've bought a, a, a taillight a replacement with a camera integrated into it and what I've done then is I've wired the whole thing up to go from the back here down this panel along here, up through the roof, and then it comes into the cockpit of the van, into another new stereo, what we've actually just installed. It's an Apple CarPlay stereo, Sony one, so it's very, very nice. And from there then, whatever I see out the back is coming straight up on this big, uh, this is a seven or eight inch monitor up in the dash. So it's much, much safer now when I'm reversing or trying to hit you on the trailer or whatever I'm doing, so it's always great. And plus, when I'm reversing out of anywhere, you know, there's always the possibility of a child running out, so at least we have that option to be that much safer. You are listening to episode 93 of the Irish Photography Podcast. Today's topics are our trip to Donegal and coronavirus. I don't know, Mac. Relax and listen to my cameras. Thank you.